I think the biggest thing is at the start, there was a naivety and a sense of sort of, you know, wonder and we didn't know what we were doing. So there was absolutely zero agenda. I mean, even when I'm doing above and beyond stuff, I try to approach it with a beginner's mindset. There's unquestionably un unconscious baggage that comes with having a fan base and having a pre-existing career. Whereas with this, at some point in the project, almost get to the point where we would then work out, well, what is this? And then start actually finding what are the tent poles and then building around that. It was a, like I said, journey of discovery. As we built the tracks, we started to develop the sound. play on our project, but we kind of did find ourselves, in a way. <laughs> it's interesting because the production approach is, is quite different, and we'd written most of these songs a long time ago, and we only just finished the album recently because we were actually trying to find the ultimate kind of house sound for it. When you're making a club record, there's a predetermined format there that you've got to kind of slot into a bit. Whereas with the Joda stuff, we're kind of making Joda it's, world. Yeah, so. I mean, exactly. I mean, it's like, so, like if you were doing a release on Anjuna Beats or mm. Anjuna Deep, you've almost got a tempo in mind, mm. template. You know what the time signature is. You often, you often even know the key signature because you'll know what, what note works best on the club speaker, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's kind of quite predetermined in a way the way one approaches it, whereas this is different tempos. Everything was like, let's just try this, or let's go down this road. Let's not be scared to have a go at pushing that boundary out. Sometimes having a more open approach actually creates more challenges. You think, oh, that lovely freedom, but actually sometimes having some parameters like, oh, we've got to make a track that's three minutes long. Suddenly you've got a kind of, that can help creativity oddly because you've got some boundaries and yeah. sense. And so we needed to sort of bring in our own versions of that into the Joda project by the time we were getting towards the end. It's funny, isn't it, the end? Because yeah. I'm like, is it not too slow? Is it like, <laughs> it's not too fast now? Yeah. So for tracks like We Find Ourselves, I mean, that track, was 110 BPM, yeah, right? That's right. We kept on speeding it up, thinking, yeah. oh, it should be faster. Well, yeah. Because we're just so attached to that other world, it didn't feel right. And in a sense, whether a DJ is going to play it or not doesn't matter so much to us with the tempo of that. It just needed to be at 110 BPM. It needed yeah. to be what it was. Yeah. We can always remix it and turn it into something else. We were kind of keen to make sure we kept the essence of what we had yeah, rather than trying, to, trying to sort of steer it into a world that it didn't really want to be in. I think what happened was during the last glass years, I, when we were scoring that together, I brought over a record which isn't actually on the Joda album that I'd been working on. And it was a, a track I'd written with a vocal on it. And I played it to Darren, he liked it, I think. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so, so, no, I was really impressed with the vocal. So I suppose that sowed the seed of maybe I could do some vocals on tracks. But to be honest, I think it was partly because we were on our own. We had, didn't have anyone else, so we had to use what we had. <laughs> and, so, yeah, no, I mean, and so that's how it, it started. It's how it started. Yeah. But when Jono first got up the mic and we started putting down ideas, it was, again, it was something that worked. It just kind of came together again. It's another, like another, like putting on another instrument that just works, and it just kind of fit what we were also doing stylistically and musically. Yeah. I definitely didn't consider myself a vocalist, so it's been a great journey to be on having Darren's support doing it because I've needed emotional support along the way to sort of think, well, why am I doing this? Shouldn't we get someone else to do it? But you know, it's I'm on the record ultimately. Support animal. <laughs> Vocal <laughs> support animal, yeah. <laughs> Whenever they needed someone to like, when it's like, oh, we need now we need the sound of a small boy. Darren, that's your bit. <laughs> oh, okay, that was it. <laughs> Most of the falsetto bits he did do, actually, yeah. We listened while doing this project to <laughs> pretty much everyone who made music in <laughs> about four eras. we grew up with the Duran Durans and Depeche Modes and all that 
talk, the talk. Pet Shop Boys joint tour, and and then, but then we also had the whole the other side with the more rock side with the U2s and the Genesis, Genesis, and so I, that all of that, you know, those artists, we have a bent as well towards soulful singers. We, you know, it's like I think we share a very similar taste in music, and so and then the, the symphonic stuff as and well, and the symphonic stuff exactly. You know, it's um. The way one uh, orchestrates those the strings and the the, the music, you'll, you'll see flourishes of it throughout the album. It's like a album. cake. You want yeah. your, you want your nostalgia in there. You do. It's you want exactly, your you know you wanna... your butter, your eggs, your cream. And, and I think at the same time, and then and then we brought brought in our you know what we do now as well with the dance contemporary stuff. dance stuff, which is I think for us this was the this is what made the project quite challenging, but also what made it quite special. We didn't want it to stick in that it's that box from them. We want it to be, it's bits of that, bits of what we love growing up, but then it's what we, we do now and what people like, you know, enjoy our music currently, how they enjoy it currently, that style. We want yeah. to bring that into play. There'd be no point in us doing a, you know, another dance project as much as there would be no point in us doing a pure 80s kind of, mm. 80s, 90s influences. So it's got bits of all of those worlds in a sense. Mm because there's no point in doing something that's been done before, basically. <laughs>